All right, folks, Whitman Hollow Boat Dock Marina. There's a campground over here. See that? We're on Whitman Hollow Road. There is a campground there. Let's just pull in for a minute. Get out of the road. Let's get a look at her. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, a lot of these time, uh, a lot of these folks are uh, full time here, uh, year round, kind of thing. But just a little, little campground here at, at. Uh, I'm not sure if it's at. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're at uh, Whitman Hollow Dock yet. But uh, anyway, it's down here. I can't remember if I've been here before. So let me look and see. Yeah, we just go straight ahead. So anyway, there's a little campground right here. I don't know if Whitman Hollow owns it, the, the marina, or not. But it's a cool little place. Hang on, folks. I'm, I'm trying to keep uh, the sun from just uh, wreaking havoc on the, on the camera. This thing does terrible, folks. Terrible sometimes. They must own that, so all of this down here to the right. We've got boat storage, storage units. You can see these folks, uh, they're year-round kind of folks, you know. They just come here from wherever, Ohio, Michigan, Indiana. Kentucky, they come here on the weekends, the holidays, the summer, and all of that. So, we're getting close, folks. I don't know. I don't know who owns that back there, those campgrounds. No clue. <laughs> Headed on down in here. The thing is, is that you could keep your boat down here, stay there at the campground. All right, so to the uh, Whitman Hollow Marina Strait, this is the public boat ramp right here. So it's right before you get to Whitman Hollow Marina. Of course, they have a boat ramp here, I do believe. I guess it wouldn't be a marina if they didn't have a boat ramp. It is not public, though. This is private up in here. So I guess you could live right here in one of these houses and uh, be right by the boat ramp. That would be cool. Or uh, keep your boat here at the marina and just drive a little golf cart or ATV and through here. Look at this, folks. This is crazy. Crazy. No parking. Huh. Additional marina parking stop. Just ain't real sure about all this. Pretty cool. Hang on. Man, I should have. Let's go up top. Let's go up top. Sorry. Let me put you back here. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I thought that I had been here. It must have been Sugar Hollow I had been to. The lake life, folks. Huh? It's like awesome to have a boat, go to uh, a restaurant, you know, a marina, that sort of thing. That's, that's like so awesome to me. No parking in front of that thing. All right, maybe we'll get a 
little better view up here. Oh yeah. This is nice, folks. Look at that. Huh? Whitman Hollow Marina. Pretty awesome. Can you see? I know that sun's bright. Now you can see right out there the, the furthest structures out there, them are them are floating houses. Floating houses. Anyway, folks, we are in the Dimmery community, basically, and uh, I actually live like five, six minutes from here. This is, we live, I don't know, within 10 minutes of several, several marinas, but this is Whitman Hollow. This is probably the closest one. Five minutes, I do believe. Maybe six. Anyway, that's awesome. All right, so we're just going to keep videoing our way out of here on Whitman Hollow Road. And hopefully the sun won't wreak havoc on the camera. Man, I would not mind living right in here somewhere on this little road. Have me a golf cart, keep my boat there at the, uh, keep my boat there at the marina. Now we can turn right, make a sharp right, and we're right here at the uh, public boat ramp. Anyways, I'm telling you folks, this, the, these places, these marinas, floating houses and all these little campgrounds, they, uh, they pack out, pack out in the summer for about four months out of the year, five, probably closer to five, it is just packed around here. And that house is built on six by sixes. They're 12 feet apart. And they are, it's at least 14 feet high. Uh, you can go back a couple of seconds and uh, see if you can see it. Six by sixes, 14 feet high. And things are 12 feet apart. Very little bracing. And it's an old house, so it's been there a while like that. And uh, that, that's how my house is done, six by sixes. They're six feet apart. The highest one being about 12 feet. Of course, we're on the side of the mountain, so one, one is, uh, we've got one that's a foot and a half, so 18 inches. And our, oh, look at these pigs. Right here. That's funny. We, uh, one's a foot and a half, and the, the shortest one's a foot and a half, the tallest one is 12 feet. So, yeah. Six by sixes, they said I couldn't do it. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, yes I can, it's legal and, it's legal and I did it. Uh -huh. And that's the kind of thing you do when you don't have a lot of money and you're doing it yourself. But folks, that thing is so reinforced, it is unbelievable. So reinforced that it is unreal. <coughs> Excuse me.
Whitman Hollow Road left up there. That is a nice cabin. Back up just a little. That is a nice cabin, folks. Yes. Well, tonight is Friday, or today is Friday, and uh, I was out and about doing what I do. Uh, it's called work, and uh, thought that I would do a quick video. And uh, it is Friday, and so I'm getting the girls tonight excited about that. Oh yeah, we love our Fridays, folks. We look forward to our Fridays. All of us. Huh? Mom and Dad get a break. Grandkids get to see Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, mostly Grandpa. And, uh, yeah, everybody's excited. Especially Grandpa. Uh, we got all the food. All the food that the kids like. Get ready for a nice evening goodness I'm going very slow folks I, I said that this this place here was five six minutes from the house and it is uh, but it may stretch out to seven minutes I doubt it though but I'm going slow and uh, it, normally I'd be going twice as fast as I'm going right now going under the speed limit, although it doesn't look like we're going under the speed limit, we are. Well, folks, we are right here, letting out. Anyway, folks, we'll see you.